Meanwhile, the Speaker made a revelation in Parliament in a special statement at the end of the vote. The fact that many of those who contacted me during the Aragal era and pressured me to violate the constitution and form a government under my leadership have signed this motion of no confidence baffles me. I am extremely sad to say that many powerful forces were among those who pressurized me to violate the constitution and establish a government during the Aragal era. The objective among some of them was not to stabilize the country but to establish an illegal government under my leadership and to make Sri Lanka a Libya or an Afghanistan. This resulted in invitations being extended to me to take up the presidency when the seat became vacant. But even then, I resisted both local as well as foreign pressure and worked according to my conscience to protect the supreme law of our country, the constitution. When they couldn't change my stance, some of them acted violently, surrounded my house and threatened my life. Among them were popular Buddhist monks as well as other religious leaders and I am shocked by this to this date. Amidst these threats, then President Gotabe Rajapaksa contacted me and inquired on how power can be transferred to me. At the final party leaders meeting on the 13th of July, there were threats in the area surrounding the presidential palace and groups were getting very close to destroying the parliamentary complex as well. The parliamentarians were removed from the premises immediately. However, I remained in this building until the very end. I was able to stop this and prevent a great destruction from taking place.